get very confused looks when I tell people what I do, which is utilizing nutrition as a way to support people's mental health. They just assume that either I'm a quack and free hugger that doesn't understand how the brain works and actual psychiatric disorders, when that's really not the case. I have a bachelor and a master in clinical psychology, so this is my jam. What I am doing, although it may sound pseudoscientific, is actually based on the current state of the evidence. So in this graph, which comes from a recent paper, they summarize all of the existing evidence on using diet, specifically a ketogenic diet, in the treatment of serious mental health disorders. And you can see that close to each type of disorder, there is a number of stars. And the number of stars represents what level of research we currently have. So you can see that epilepsy has reached three stars, meaning that it has been proven to work and it has been used for around 100 years in people with epilepsy to reduce the amount of seizures that they have. We also have a similar amount of research for multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and autism spectrum disorder. The situation is a bit different when it comes to bipolar disorder, ADHD, schizophrenia, major depressive disorder, and binge eating disorder because the research is still ongoing. So we already have some stars, so we have some papers that are pointing us in the direction that it's working, but we're waiting for the larger trials. So it may take a couple of years for these trials to come out so that we may reach the point that epilepsy is at. In, in practice is that we aren't at the point that ketogenic diet can be used as a standard treatment, but it can be used on a case by case basis, meaning that a doctor by looking at the research and looking at the patient in front of them may decide to use it as an additional therapy.